The LMFL team presents the 8th series of Living a Meaningful and Fulfilled Life Seminar. Okay, so how to deal with pain and emptiness in life? All of us, in one way or another, have experienced pain, suffering, or interest in life. What is life? The answer is, it is from D to D. Uh -huh. So what is D to D? It says, it is birth to death. Uh -huh. So, Life starts since the day we were born to the day we die. Is that life? Is that what life is all about? But what's between D and D in the alphabet? Of course you know. What is it? It's C. Oh, you are intelligent. <laughs> it's it. And C stands for Christ. He must be the center of our life. It means Christ must be between birth and then it's no longer B C D, but it becomes B E D. What does that mean? It means but since there is no Christ in between, emptiness, and after emptiness, man will experience death. You know, many people have been wanting to experience happiness in life since the time a person is able to understand some of the basic areas of life. However, a man will never find happiness, a person will never find satisfaction unless Christ is at the center of his life. That's why only one life will soon be passed. Only what's done for Christ will last. The truth is, most of our problems can be traced to a wrong picture of God. Our view of God will either draw us to Him or move us away from Him. That's according to A.W. Tozer. I just summarize it into find all those things that the human heart can desire for success. Man decides for money that is under prosperity. Man decides to be promoted that is, that is under position. He wants popularity that is under prestige. Of course, he wants to enjoy his life that's pleasure. Friends, did we know 
people attempted to fill in prosperity in the vacuum. Whatever a man does apart from God, he will fail miserably or succeed even more miserably. A truly successful person doesn't have to sacrifice his or her family. That's right. A person who has a well-managed life can have a well-managed business and a well-managed office. I told him, you know what? It's not money. It is the love of money that is the root of all kinds of evil. And I would like to add to that. It is not only the love of money that is the root of all kinds of evil, but also the lack of money. It might be even worse. So be careful, it's not only the love of money, also the love of money. How do you want people to remember you when you die? I gave you time to remember. <laughs> And I gave you time to think. What do you want people to remember you? We need to build meaningful and deep relationships. Relationships. First, with God. Second, to the family, our family, our loved ones to our friends, to our acquaintances, and to all our neighbors and people whom we will be in contact with. All right? And last question. Does your life make a difference? It's between you and the Lord, my friend. In answering these questions, soul-searching questions, it is my prayer that each one of us would be able to build a life. Life with meaning, life with fulfillment, because we pursue the very purpose of life that God has created us for.